so much freedom. Lord, I want to let go. But I need to let go. Lord, it's Pastor Haynes and amen. amen. Praise God. Pastor Haynes, the church, the church of Pastor Haynes. Praise the Lord. Come on, put your hands together. Come on, give him, give him, give him a big praise. Come on, give him a big praise. Hallelujah. Come on, you can do better than that. Come on, give him something extra. Come on, give him something that you had been reserved. Come on, tap into that reservoir, amen, and take out that part of the praise that you have in reserve. Come on, let it go, let it go, let it go. Come on, give him everything. Come on, every fiber of your being, every breath that you breathe. Come on, give him a high note of praise. Come on, let heaven know that you are still alive. Let earth know that you are still alive. Let hell know that you are still alive. Come on, open your mouth and let a high note of praise come off your lips. Come on and give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. In spite of it all, give him praise. No matter what it seem like, no matter what it look like, you got a praise on the inside. Come on, let hell know that praise is who I am and praise is what I do. For when the praises goes up, the blessing will come down. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. You can sit down in the presence of our God. Amen. I come to preach a message this morning, but the Holy Ghost spoke to me. I shall title my message, Let It Go. 
glory to God and the Holy Ghost shall go down into the book and give you everything and let it go glory to God somebody say hallelujah somebody said hallelujah somebody said hallelujah glory to God amen thank God for this privilege amen to have Amen. Among us today, none other than Archbishop Abraham. Amen. MD, just like Abraham of the Bible. Amen. And you know that if you carry that name, you have to be a person of faith. Somebody say faith. Glory to God. Amen. MD in the house. And also, she is uh, the director of My King's TV Network Worldwide. Amen. So you guys' faces is going to be showing worldwide. They're going to see you in Africa. They're going to see you. Amen. All part of the world, your face are going to be showing up. Glory to God. And Tabernacle Church are going to be showing up. And I want you to make sure you come back tonight. Uh, our bishop will be preaching tonight. And tonight, amen, after I finish, she will give you some instruction what are going to take place in this service tonight. Don't miss this service. Amen. Praise God. So I'm going to run real fast because I feel hot. Somebody say hot. Somebody say hot, hot, hot. Glory to God. So I'm going to run and I'm going to title the message uh, according to this song that just played a while ago. It have changed. Amen. The course of my message. I'm going to title it. Let it go. So turn your Bible with me to Amen. Genesis chapter 50. Glory to God. And I will be just releasing and let the Holy Ghost have his way. And today because I feel so good. Amen. That the world is going to hear what take place. Amen. Glory to God. Somebody said amen. amen. Thank you. And if you find it, let us read from the first verse of Genesis chapter 50. And we are going to see the father that tell Joseph, let it go. So we're going to title the message, let it go. Glory to God. Amen. And it read thus, And Joseph fell upon his father's face, and wept upon him, and he kissed him. And Joseph commanded his servant, the physician, to embalm his father, and the physician embalmed Israel. And forty days were fulfilled for him, for so are fulfilled the days of those which are embalmed. And the Egyptian mourned for him threescore and ten days. And when the days of his mourning were past, Joseph spake unto the house of Pharaoh, saying, If now I have found grace in your eyes, speak, I pray you, in the ears of Pharaoh, saying, My father made me swear, saying, Lo, I die in my grave which I have dig for me in the land of Canaan, there shall thou bury me. Now therefore let me go up, I pray thee, and bury my father, and I will come again. And Pharaoh said, and, and Pharaoh said Go up and bury thy father, according as he has made thee swear. And Joseph went up to bury his father, and with him went up all the servants of Pharaoh, the elders of his house, and all the elders of the land of Egypt, and all the house of Joseph and his brother and his father's house only their little ones and their flocks and their herds they left in the land of Goshen and there went up with him both chariots and horsemen and it was a very great company and they came to the threshing floor of Atad which is beyond Jordan and there they mourned with a great very sore lamentation and he made a mourning for his father seven days. And when the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites, saw the mourning in the floor of Atta, they said, This is a grievous mourning to the Egyptian, wherefore the name of it was called Abel Mizraim, which is beyond Jordan. And his sons did unto him according as he commanded them. 
For his sons carried him into the land of Canaan and buried him in the cave of the field of Machpelah, which Abraham brought with the field for a possession of a burying place of Ephron the Hittite before Mamre. And Joseph returned into Egypt, he and his brethren and all that went up with him to bury his father. After he had buried his father, and when Joseph's brethren saw their father was dead, they said, Joseph will peradventure hate us and will certainly requite us all the evil which we did unto him. And they sent a messenger unto Joseph, saying, Thy father did command before he died, saying, So shall he say unto Joseph, Forgive, I pray thee, now the trespass of thy brethren. Let us pray. Mighty good and most merciful Father, we thank you, we praise you, we adore you. We magnify you as Lord, we magnify you as God. Mighty God, you sit in the highest of the highest. Mighty God, move in the lowest of the lowest. Move in the heart of your son and your daughter. Bring about healing, miracles, shine and wonder. Touch my eyes, O God, that I may see what thou see. Touch my lips, that I may prophesy what you prophesy. Mighty God, move in this place. Let your cloud, your glory cloud, rest upon this place like you never rest upon it before. And mighty God, our expectation of you is very high. We are looking to see you move in your majesty, move in your divinity and your glory, move in your power in the life.